It could be a matter of life or death. The Richmond Ambulance Authority pleading for more money so they can better serve the city. Thanks for joining us for 8 News at 11. I'm Deanna Albritton. Eric has the night off. 8 News reporter Ben Dennis has been looking into the city's budget for the Ambulance Authority. Now, Ben, how important is this additional money they're asking for? Well, Deanna, the Ambulance Authority says if they don't get $3.5 million more than what the mayor had budgeted for, service times could be impacted, meaning more potential delays. But the mayor's office tonight said, show us the proof before we sign the check. There was one thing that was agreed on during this tense meeting. Everyone wants to pre prevent rather something like this from happening ever again. This is not okay right now. Over 30 minutes? Well, double that. A pregnant woman waited over an hour for an ambulance in Richmond after a car crash in the south side last summer. I know. Grab my hand, baby. I know. Slow, deep breaths, okay? It's stories like this the Richmond Ambulance Authority referenced tonight while pleading to several city council members for three and a half million dollars more than what the mayor had budgeted. I need to be at the overdose, otherwise, somebody's going to die. You know, I need to be at the, at the shooting. Chip Decker with the Ambulance Authority says staffing is part of the problem. He says they need more money to retain employees with competitive salaries and to hire more. Plus, to cover the cost for people who can't afford to ride to the hospital. But Mayor Stoney's office wants a review of the Ambulance Authority's proposal. Tonight, Richmond's Chief Administrative Officer, Lincoln Saunders, questioned RAA's billing and collection rates. His numbers are different. But Councilwoman Reva Trammell represents the district where the pregnant woman waited so long. She wants the city to act fast, faster than a comprehensive review may allow for. Council members need to find the money to give it to you so that you can keep doing your job. I'll pull every card I have to. This is not okay right now. Now, Council President Cynthia Newbill requested that the RAA provide answers to some more questions that City Hall had had. She wants that to happen by the end of this week. So, why the rush, if you will? Well, City Council is supposed to vote on a final budget by the end of next month. In Richmond, Ben Dennis, State News.